Ja Hut people are one of the Orang Asli tribes living in Pahang, Malaysia. As of 2000, the population of the Ja Hut people are 2,442 and by 2005, it is estimated that there are approximately 4,000 people living in 11 kampungs villages that are located along the west bank of the Pahang River from the north in Gerontit to the south in Temerlo, Pahang. These 11 kampungs also includes Kampung Pas Penderas and Kampung Kaboy which are situated in the tropical jungles of Gerontit, Pahang. Kampung Kaboy is one of the smallest kampungs among the Ja Hut settlements with only about 100 people. The Ja Hut people live in houses built on stilts, similar to Malay houses. Population the population dynamics of the Ja Hut people are as the following Topic. Language Topic. The language spoken by the Ja Hut people is known as Ja Hut language and it is recognized as part of the Mon Khmer languages, of which is also a branch of the Austro-Asiatic languages. In the Ja Hut language, Ja means people and Hut means not. However this literal translation does not bring any meaning to its name as the word not people is not the actual meaning of their name. According to the Ja Hut people, Ja means people and Hut means different. The Ja Hut language itself have absorbed a lot of words from the Malay language into its vocabulary. Among the Ja Hut dialects includes Kurdo, Krau, Ketiar Krau, Terengganu, Kuala Tembeling, Pulau Gwai, Ulu Siris, Shares, and Ulu Tembeling. Economic activities The main agricultural activities of the Ja Hut people are such as rubber tapping, rice cultivation, hunting, gathering and poultry. Wood carving activity is still being practiced and it is not only regarded as a source of income but also seen as a part of keeping their traditional faith alive. Although the Ja Hut people reside in the jungles, they are not entirely isolated to themselves but they have been trading with other nearby groups of people for hundreds of years. Traditional medicine Traditional herbal knowledge are passed down from one generation to another in a form of oral narrative by the Bomo meaning, witch doctor, that specializes in traditional medicine. The Indian Journal of Medical Sciences have documented at least 16 jaw hut medicines. Among the medicines that have been verified by scientific researchers includes the Hediotis capitellata, Melastoma malabathricum, Lycopodiella cernua, and the following Uricoma longifolia, used as an aphrodisiac to boost orgasm. This herb is a popular herb among many races in Malaysia and can be obtained from the market. Marinda citrifolia, the Ja Hut people use this herb to treat boils through the topical formation of its leaves and fruits. This coincides with the verification of pharmacology that ulcers are often caused by Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. Since Marinda citrifolia has antibacterial properties to combat it, this treatment is not an unfounded treatment. Vernonia cinerea, used by Ja Hut people to relieve asthma, as recent research shows that Vernonia cinerea has anti-inflammatory properties and therefore, this treatment is effective. Vernonia arborea, used for treating tumors, other medicines that have not been verified are such as Alstonia angustiloba and Homolanthus populneus, Ja Hut people use this herb to treat headaches. Physalis minima, Perosia pyloceloides and Smilax lancifolia, these herbs are often used by the Ja Hut people to relieve pain. In recent years, most of this people's medicines are no longer attractive to younger generation who relies more on Western medicine. The current generation of Ja Hut people mostly do no longer recognize herbs and does not have much knowledge of traditional herbs. At present, most of the younger generation had migrate to urban areas for education and employment. Therefore, only the older generation have the knowledge of herbs and it is estimated that only a few people are able to use traditional medicine to treat diseases. References, <references>